Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, this is going to be kind of like a combination friend mail shopping haul video because the, the last video that I did with my friend mail in it, I had gotten a lot of really awesome stuff for my birthday and I was having such a bad day when I got them and it all really made me feel a lot better. And then the next day when I went to check my mail again, I had more and I felt really bad that I didn't get those, you know, lumped in with that other video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you the stuff that I bought and then I'm going to show you my brand new friend mail and then I'll go back over the stuff that I had received for my birthday. I really did want all of that in the same video and I'm sorry that I didn't get it all. I, I, I didn't want to ignore anybody or leave anybody out. But um, so first off, let's go over what I got. I went to Dollar General first and I got ribbon. I got more ribbon after I'm just trying to get rid of some of the ribbon that I've got. I bought more. But it's justifiable because it was 50% off and only paid 50 cents a roll for it. So I had to get it. You know, it's kind of like a law or something. You know, like if you see ribbon 50% off, then you don't get it. You're going to get punished later in life or something. I don't know. But anyway, and then I got some more um, of these butterflies at Dollar Tree. And I know in my area, if you see these butterflies, these big ones, and if you don't buy them and you go back, the next day they're going to be gone. So my store had just gotten in a new shipment, and I've already had a blue one, so I didn't want to buy up a bunch of them. I just got three, so there's plenty left for other people. I got the yellow, purple, and pink, and I, I use these on my wreaths, so I was pretty happy to come across those. And I don't know if y'all have seen them, but they have, like, I call them Legos. I know these are not Legos, but they have, like, the little kits, like, in the box where, you know, it can build, like, a little race car or a helicopter or something. And my kids love those. I mean, they've got a, a gazillion real Legos, but they like these at the Dollar Tree, too. And then I just saw recently where they're starting to sell just the individual colors in these bags of 48. Now, the lady that worked there said that they also had like a square, you know, like the base that you build the blocks on. But she said they sell out really, really fast. So I got these. They did have more colors, but... You know, like I said, they've already got a gazillion Legos, and this is about all they need right now. So I was just happy to see these in the individual colors. Not bad. 48 for a dollar. You know, not too bad. Okay, let's see. What else did I get? Then I got... Oh, this little piggy bank. How cute is he? And then it opens up like this. They had this gold color, and then they had a pink one. Now, I don't know if there, if there are any other colors available. All I know is my store had... Um, had this pink this this pink this is not pink this is gold I had this gold and then they also had a pink and they also had these cute little boxes uh, these came in several colors this is purple because that's my favorite color um, purple uh, pink blue and a green of course all pastel colors it says uh, macaroon hinged box of course it's not a macaroon it's macaron come on come on Dollar Tree get it right but anyway it was like a little cookie, and then it opens up. I thought that would be really cute, like especially with my Cricut. I might like cut out my initial or a monogram or something and put on top. I don't know, but I thought that was really, really cute. Okay, let's put that back so it doesn't get broken. And then, of course, y'all probably seen like the blue paisley dishes and the towels. I've got so many dishes. When I see, I don't know, that's my thing, almost about as bad as mesh. When I see a pretty set of dishes, I'll just buy the whole set. And I've got so many sets of dishes. So I didn't buy these. But um, I just got one of the placemats because I do have a craft idea for that. Of course I do. I've got ideas for everything. I'm going to figure out how to how to make something out of dust bunnies and use dryer lint. I'd be, I'd be creative. There are artists that make, that make pictures out of dryer lint. I have seen that, so... I might attempt that soon. But anyway, I also found, finally, the Awareness Ribbon Wreath Frames. Now, my store had, um, I think there were 10 or 11 left, and I only grabbed four. But um, from what I've been told and from what I've read, uh, these are not available on the website yet. They're like kind of like doing a test run for them, like in the stores, to see how successful they are. And then they might start carrying them on the website. I don't know. That's what a Dollar Tree employee told me. And I've also read that online. But, um, yeah. So I just grabbed four of those. And then this, this metal trellis is too big to, like, put on the camera. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I've got a crafting idea. 
for this sucker too. So I just got one of those. There was a whole bunch. I just grabbed one. Okay, so let us move on. I want to show you some of the, the newer friend mail that I got. Like I said, I'm sorry that I didn't that I didn't get this in the previous video. But um, I'm going to put the envelope over there so y'all can't see the address. It's from Pam. And I'm going to cover it up down here because there's a phone number. But I just saw this really, isn't that pretty? A really, really pretty card with birds. It says, I hope um, I had a wonderful birthday. She had a birthday in February and no one remembered, even though she's married. Honey, been there, done that twice. Nobody ever remembers. Um, so going on down, she was a nurse too, but got hurt in an accident when she was working for home health. Oh, honey, I know all about that. Um, so when she's hurting at night, she likes to watch me and laugh. So I'm so glad that I can make somebody laugh. You know, we all need to laugh a little bit more. Um, if you need a friend to listen to or pray with, please call. And then her, her phone number's down here. So I'm going to set that to the side. And then she's put in like this little laminated card, which I thought was really cute. There's a bookmark. And then I'm going to punch out this little card here. And that's definitely going to go in my handbag. And then this little tag here. I don't want to put it on my key ring because it'll get torn up. So I'm thinking I might... I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'll do something with it. Believe me, I'll do something with it. I'm going to put that back in here. And what, what tickled me on this is I love, I love birds. As you can see on her return address sticker here, there's a, a cardinal. Now, you know, like down here, especially like in the southern states, we call them red birds. <laughs> but for some reason, I call them cardinals. And one time I was driving down the interstate. I mean, I drive like a bat out of Hades, so I don't know like the time frames here, but um, I was just driving and thinking, and I was talking out loud, and I'm like, you know, God, angels, spirit guides, whoever's around me and listening right now, you know, it's like I, I don't know what to do with my life right now, so if you could please send me a sign and let me know if this idea that I have in my head, if, um, if that is what I need to do with my life, if I need to go forward with that, please send me a sign. And make it a prominent sign, please, because I don't pick up on subtleties. So, you know, I would like to see a cardinal. I didn't say red bird, I said cardinal. Please just let me see a cardinal if this is what I need to do. And I don't know, it could have been five minutes, ten minutes, I don't know. Like I said, I drive crazy. And this huge tractor trailer came flying onto the interstate from the on-ramp. About run me over, so I had to get over a lane. The cab was red, and all the way down the trailer, all the way down the side, it said cardinal, and it had a, a cardinal's head. So, you know, cardinals have a have a special place for me. I um I look out for anything that has a cardinal on it, and I'll take that as a as a very, very good sign. And then here's this next package. Like I said, I'm gonna hide this over here so nobody can see their turn address. This is from Debbie Williams. And this really pretty card here. <laughs> This card made me laugh. It made me giggle. I got a, I got a wicked case of the giggles, and I couldn't stop for some reason. And I don't know why it made me giggle so much. It says, "Strut your stuff. It's your birthday. It's time to flamingo." <laughs> and that word flamingo got to me for some reason, and I couldn't stop laughing. I'm like, "What the hell is a flamingo?" <laughs> I'm going to start using that word now. That word is now in my vocabulary. To flamingo. Get out of my way. I'm trying to flamingo here. <laughs> oh, God. Now my eyes are watering. Okay. All right. I can read. Um, now my eyes are watering. Oh, this is, Hi, Amber. My name is Debbie Williams. We've exchanged comments sometimes on YouTube. You mentioned about not getting a birthday card. You know, usually I don't. I don't get anything in the mail. But I've got a lot recently. I'm very happy for it. I'm sending you one because everyone should get a card, at least for their birthday. I made a pocket letter for you, which I really appreciate. Because I just recently joined a group on Facebook about pocket letters. I think it's like U.S. pocket letters, something like that. And I've always wanted to make one. And I've always wanted to get one. But I wasn't 100% sure, you know, like how I should put it together. So I, I really do appreciate this. So I'm going to put this back in here so it can flam flamingo with his envelope. And basically what a pocket letter is, is you take like these little sheets, you know, like you put baseball cards in. And for each one in the front, you just put these really pretty little handmade cards, just little pieces of paper. And you decorate them up all nice and pretty. Just like that. 
I've got so many cute ones here. And I love this little shaker card. You shake it and there's glitter all in it. That little shaker cupcake. That is so cute. And then in the pockets on the back, you put like usable things. Like you can actually use like this here, like these little paper flowers that you can use for embellishments. See, they're not attached to anything. And you can take those out and actually use them. These are like little um, stick it notes, little strips. And yes, I did look up the verse on every single one of these. And that resonated with me, so I really liked those. And here's another little shaker card, little shaker bow. I thought that was really, really cute. Let's stick that back. I'm going to get a notebook and start putting pocket letters in it because I really want to start making them and sending them out to people. And then she got me this really cute notepad. You know, I said before I'm addicted to notepads and notebooks, and I've got them everywhere. And this one is going to go in my handbag. It's really cute. It's a little magnetic closure, and it's got my initial on it. And it's got roses in it. I dearly love roses. I miss my rose garden. That's what I miss. Okay, so that was the um, the new ones. Like I said, I'm sorry that I didn't put that in my in my previous video. Let's see, what do I have? I got stuff all over my table. Help me. It's all flamingled together. <laughs> okay, so this card. I want to cover up the address here. Um, Y'all probably already seen, if you watched the previous video from this point on, you probably already seen this stuff. I wanted to show it again anyway, just to lump it all together. Uh, this birthday card with the balloon animals on it says, I wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day with hugs from a friend in Kansas, Michelle. And this cute note, you're so talented. I love seeing what you come up with next. This is appreciated. It really is. And then there was a gift card to Dollar Tree in there. The perfect gift for me. <laughs> Let me put this back in here. I'll set it to the side and do it in a minute. No, it can go flamingo with the other one. <laughs> I'm not going to stop saying that word for a while. <laughs> and this one was just so, so cute. Isn't that pretty? And I saw this one. I'm like, oh, what a pretty envelope. That looks different. And I saw the stamp. I was like, oh, the Netherlands. Okay, this is awesome. And it's really cute with all these cute little pictures. And I love little things like this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these on something. I don't know what, but I'm going to use them on something. I like all of those. So here's a small note. I'll cover up that address. Um, small note for you at Lenore. I saw the film and also your P.O. box number. My name is E. Driver. Please forgive me if I said that wrong. I decided to send you something. First of all, have good Easter days. I live at the residence of this country. Um, I was born at one of the Dutch islands. Be inspired. Bye-bye. thought that was, was so nice. I, mean, I love hearing, you know, where everybody's from. You're like, wow, the Netherlands. You know, that's, um, I know I get a lot of stuff, you know, comments and stuff from people here in the States. But, you know, to see people that, you know, are from elsewhere, I really do enjoy that. I really, really do. And now for these... This package here, oh, where'd the card go? It says, just because. I like little things like that. It's so cute. I saw this mesh at only one Dollar Tree, and I haven't seen you haul it. So I bought it for you. It's a thank you for all the awesome crafts you make on YouTube. I'm working on the magnetic tray right now. Enjoy Betty Ann. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had seen this mesh, and, and I wanted it. And I never could find it in my stores, and it upset me to no end. But look at it. Isn't that pretty? Uh, hold on a second. And this is a sign that I got at Dollar General not too long ago. And I, I want to make myself a wreath. I want to make something just for me. And I want to use that with this wreath somehow. With this wreath, with this sign. Because uh, all the colors, they just go together. You know? So I got that sign out last night. And I was looking at it. I'm like, I want to I use this. But I really like this. Because like I said, I've been looking at it from people online. And I was upset that I didn't get any for myself. And they didn't have any online for me to order either, so I'm kind of like a double bomber. Oh, God, I'm hitting the camera. And this other one here. This one was awesome, too. Um, just this little card here. Happy birthday wishes. Happy birthday to the hoarder of the white mesh. <laughs> Y'all heard me say on the video I like to hoard white mesh. Because I can't wait for the winter time to come again so I can make all the pretty winter time wreaths and everything. And I want to have plenty of white mesh to do that with for y'all. <laughs> um, I found this card in my late mom's desk. The folks moved 30 plus years ago. So this card is probably older than you. From Tracy Johnson. And if you look at the back it says, but it has a website. So it must not be that old after all. 
I thought that was really funny. I got a laugh out of that. Um, and this is just a really, really sweet note here. Oh God, cover up. Hang on, cover up the mailing address here. Um, I laughed about your comment about the white mesh because there seems to be a lot of it around my area. Uh, less people in my area use it. Um, do do do, just going down. And my phone cut off for some reason. But anyway, like I said, I really do um, appreciate the, the message about my Sophie's Universe. I worked really hard on that. It took me four months to make. Like I said, I really appreciate it. And all of this white mesh. Look at the meshiness. Look at all of the white mesh. But I was very excited to get this. Y'all know I get all kinds of worked up over mesh. But <laughs> I really did appreciate that. But, um, yeah, I've got some, a bunch more craft ideas in my head to make for y'all. So stay tuned and I'll start working on one this afternoon and try to make one every day this week. I don't know if I can. I said, I've got a lot going on in my life right now. And, um, I just got some stuff I've got to work out, but I'm working on it and I'll try to get some more videos made. So if you would give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media and my Etsy shop, please, please. The links to all of those are in the description box down below and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.